Hey sports fans, welcome to the Ballers Club Press Show. I'm just out here on the old uh, mud road out into the marsh here because we got a new set of tires for the Tremor and we're gonna show them to you. Stay tuned. Hey sports fans, welcome back to the Ballers Club Press Show. So I said we got new tires on the Tremor, and we did. And this would be them. They are Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac RTs. So they're kind of the update to the regular Duratrac that we all know and love. So these ones have the uh, Kevlar in them as well, uh, which the regular Duratracs did not. But I guess since these are the update to the regular Duratrax or throwing the kitchen sink at them. So a couple of differences. Now you can't really tell because it's, uh, it's a little dirty from the, the initial testing we were doing, but these tread blocks have quite a bit more siping than the regular Duratrax. Now for where I live in Manitoba, the KO2 and the Duratrax are like the popular truck tires here. Not a lot of guys are running all those Nittos and Toyos and all the fun tires because they almost never have siping. Or if they do, it's very, very little compared to something like a Duratrac or a KO2, which uh, when you're in, in the north uh, and you deal with snow and ice a lot, you kind of need that siping. So uh, I think this is gonna be a very popular tire once more people start finding out about it. I can also tell you this, um, when I initially looked at the Duratrac RT, I was looking at the tighter spacing of the tread blocks. It's almost more akin to a, a KO2 versus a regular Duratrac where they had, you know, the big, big spacing between the blocks and stuff. But I could tell you, so I've been in some mud with these already. Uh, they only got put on this morning, but I figured I'd already get a little bit of testing in here. Uh, the sidewall on these tires. Actually, you can probably see it better on the on the other side, or maybe even on the front. The sidewall on these tires is nuts. It's probably the best sidewall on like any tire today. That's, you know, in this range, I'm talking about like a all-terrain or hybrid mud-terrain, all-terrain, you know, the, oh, that's not very clean, but the sidewall is super, super aggressive. And I think in the mud and stuff. So when I came down the mud road to get here and then I drove through some mud over here and stuff, uh, it's, it's pretty rutted. We've been getting a lot of rain lately. It's been raining. It only stopped raining like two days ago. So it was enough time to get the surface of that mud road mostly dried out, but all the ruts are still filled with water. Well, I could tell a big difference already from the general grabber ATXs that came on the Tremor versus these Duratrac RTs, they climb out of the mud ruts uh, much, much better than the ATXs did. And I think it has to all be that sidewall because the, the inner spacing isn't exactly optimized, it looks like, for mud, but, but that sidewall just digs. And in all honesty, most of the tires I run anyways, they plug up in the middle anyhow. So if you can get a really good sidewall to dig you out of those ruts when you need to, for me, that, uh, that's everything. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get these cleaned up a little bit and then we'll have a better look at them in the driveway, compare them to the old tires, but they're in the factory size, 275, 70 R18s. I would have liked to have gone with something a little bit bigger if they made them like a 285, 70 R18, which I know fits on these fine, but uh, yeah, no problem with that size of tire. I mean, they look good on this truck. And uh, yeah, I mean, when you can actually see what the tire looks like, it's a big improvement on looks. But for me, mainly, I just wanted to get something a little more aggressive. The real test will come more in fall and early winter when we're using them on, you know, for hunting and wood cutting back in here and there's snow on the ground and, and we'll see how their ice traction is and everything. But so far, my initial impressions for the two hours that they've been on this vehicle, uh, you can tell they're heavier because these are LTs. These are load range E tires, whereas the 
general grabber ATXs they put on these tremors are not the LT version. So it's a heavier tire and you can feel the difference. You can feel it when you're braking and you can feel it in the steering wheel. The, the steering wheel feels heavier. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just you can tell. We'll see about fuel economy. Uh, I don't expect it to get hurt really too bad with that much heavier of a tire still. I, we'll see, but I don't think it's gonna hurt it that much. Because I've always, by the way, I've always had Duratrac LT tires on every truck before this. So if this is what I'm used to, not the RT of course, the old regular version. But uh, so I'm used to the weight and everything of the tires. Um, but yeah. You can feel the weight difference. And as far as noise wise on the highway, yeah, they're louder. I, I don't care about the noise. I like, they, they can make 10, you know, more noise than this. I'd, I wouldn't care, it's fine. They're not loud, loud. They're just louder than what was on here before. So we'll see that might, I think they generally tend to get louder somehow as they break in. So, so we'll see what happens with that. But I honestly, I couldn't care less about the noise. So, we shall continue testing and then we will go back to the driveway with nice clean tires and I will show them to you in a little bit more detail. All right, we're gonna try the mud and ruts mode so we got some ruts to go through so let's see what happens oh yeah these tires uh oh that's deep these tires got grip like you wouldn't believe in this mud Oh, oh, there's the dog. You don't even have to give it momentum or give it power for momentum. And that is uh, wet mud, those. Oh, those holes are definitely filled with water. Everything's filled with water around here. Good old mud and ruts. Oh look, we got all kinds of fancy bullshit on the screen here too, I didn't even notice. This mud and wet ruts mode, one thing I will say about it is If you're planning on shifting out of first gear, you might not want to use mud and ruts. I used mud and ruts a couple weeks ago. I was leaving the mud road down here, back with the old tire still. And uh, yeah, it does not, oh, you have to slow down for that hole. It does not shift. It stays in first gear by the feel of it. So if you need to go faster, We'll probably need to take it out of that and just leave it in four high or something with your ugh, differential locked. Man, this thing goes like stink through this. I mean, one side kind of always has traction, so I guess I'm cheating. I'm just driving in what's available, but uh, no slipping. And by the way, I don't want to tear this up. I just want to test these tires.
Oh, now you can see them much cleaner. Look at that sidewall. I mean, it's not the most impressive mud in the world, of course, but it was more not for me to come in here and tear this all up. This is where I go wood cutting and stuff. I'm in here all the time, but these holes are deep. One side pretty much always had traction, but I just wanted to get a feel for what these tires feel like in mud and they feel pretty fucking good. So good your Angler Duratrax. I'm, uh, I am pleased. I and mean, these feel way better than what was on here from the factory. So yeah, these tires kick ass as far as I'm concerned. All right, sports fans, so we're about to head down the mud road here, take off from our little filming location. I'm back in four high regular out of mud and ruts because mud and ruts doesn't shift. And I have a feeling we might be needing or wanting speed later on. So here we go. Here's what was hard with the old tires, is these ruts. We're in them. We're going. I mean, we're spinning, but it's going. It's digging out. Here, we're going to help ourselves out. We're going to go a little bit on the grass. But it's still, this is thick clay in. She climbs, look at that. That that speed and that everything with the general grabber ATXs maybe would have finished us. Look at that. This is uh, not pleasant stuff to drive through. I mean, just look at the mirror. You can kind of see we sank quite a bit. Up here, the top la layer is now dry, but like I said, we've been getting a lot of rain, so there's a lot of water in those ruts. But these tires, they do pretty good. They go. I'm impressed so far. I mean, I've only been driving around on them for under three hours. It's 2.42 now. I left the dealership. It was afternoon. So...
other videos was there was a big snow drift here we almost didn't get through almost sucked us into the ditch there all right there's one more little wet spot here and like i said i actually don't want to tear this road up so we're going to try to miss as much as possible oh, there we are dig ever ooh, ooh, that's deep All right, sports fans. So, as promised, I got one of the tires uh, all cleaned up, somewhat cleaned up. And here is what the inside looks like of the tread block. So, a lot of siping. Basically, uh, Goodyear said that they took the regular dirt track and any block that had three sipes in it, for instance, they would put four. So this one's got four. And if you look at a regular dirt track, that same block in that position would be a little bit smaller, I guess. I think they have more blocks going across, but it will also have fewer sipes. So a lot of siping on these tires. I think they're going to be very good for ice, which is important for me. And if we were to compare, let's just wheel in the old tire that came off this morning. This is the General Grabber ATX. You can see the inner tread blocks fairly similar in terms of how tight they are. Obviously a lot more siping on the Duratrack RT. Uh, but if you notice, so this is one of the other things Goodyear talks about. Look at the look at the lines for the evacuation of mud. Nothing's a straight line on this tire. Whereas on this tire, we have a lot more straight lines uh, that, and apparently that's supposed to help a lot with mud evacuation. So even though it looks like a slightly less aggressive tire than the regular Duratrack in terms of how these blocks are spaced, uh, because of the, you know, the science involved with the tire design and the fact that the sidewall is so, so aggressive, uh, I think it's going to be a, a very good tire and possibly better than the original Duratrack. These tires, by the way, these uh, General Grabbers have about 70,000 kilometers on them. So there's still, still some life left in them. I don't think I would want to drive another winter on them. It's only June 17th today, but the front end on this truck, uh, I guess, started wearing the inside of the tires so uh on both sides so i noticed actually the ones that were on the back had it the worst because they were on the front the longest since this problem started i guess even though i rotate them about every seven thousand they were definitely worn on the inside so i got a front end alignment done at just under seventy thousand kilometers and since i did the alignment and i wanted new tires anyways i figured well you might as well put the tires on now instead of driving around with the alignment for another few months just to get a couple more months of wear out of these old tires just do everything today and I will sell these for some residual value even though they've uh, a couple of them are especially worn on the inside here but they'll be fine for some old farm truck or something so anyways that is my review of the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack RTs anyways Ballers Club Prez signing off